before starting any fence project, you'll want to get a hold of your utility companies. It's you can either call Dig Safe. It's an 811 number. They will come out free of charge, locate all the utilities. Then you don't have to worry about hitting anything and uh, any repercussions coming back onto you as far as digging holes and setting posts for your fence project. We get a lot of questions on installation at Tough Bar Fence. So we're going to make a series of videos on how to install Tough Bar Fence. We've started out, we've, we've concreted a post at each end of this line and we've run a string line. We've taken a tape and measured in 10 foot squares. That's how we're laying the fence out for our post. I've used marking paint that, to mark the holes. Our next step will be digging the holes. We've dug our holes, we've set our post in, in the holes, we've run another string line and it is tied off to the top of the post at each end. What we then do is come in about every fifth or sixth post and we will set these posts to five feet for a height. We then take duct tape and tape the string to the top of the post and this gives us a starting point then to set all the other posts to this string line what you try to avoid is measuring for your five foot height on every post that makes your fence go like this and if you just do a sampling of post that you've put in at five feet and attach your top string line to the top of the post that allows the rest of the post to follow that string line and follow the train of the ground. So you have a nice gentle slope and your fence doesn't have peaks or valleys in it. We finished putting our post in the holes. They're all been concreted in. We had set all these posts to the, our string line height following the ground. We've scattered our panels. That's the next step and we are ready to start installing and welding the panels up. We've installed some panels and we're in the process of installing the rest of the panels on this job. This will be a good example of following the string line with our post. This is a pretty big transition from up here down to here. And you can see how these panels follow the flow of the ground. There's no sharp peaks or valleys in it. And it just does a nice job following the terrain. And that's, that's the ultimate goal that you're after. Yeah, it makes a very pleasing looking fence with it following like that. It just has a gentle curve to it around this drive. And uh, that, that's kind of the finished product that we're after. We've come out of this corner. We've got it capped with angle iron to make a nice clean corner. We've got this first panel installed. We're getting ready to install the next panel. We've got a come along hook to it. He'll ratchet that up till he's roughly even with the top of the post. Then T will pick this up and sleeve the connectors in. It's 
Pretty simple process of just sliding in the six connectors into the end of the panel. Then you pull the panel tight. It makes a nice seamless look and you're ready to weld this panel up and go on to the next. I'm going to show you some examples of our finished product. Uh, in this example, I wanted to show how it can follow the terrain of the ground. By not measuring every post and just measuring a few and then running a string line will get the top line of your fence to follow the flow of the ground. This tree is a pretty good sized hump. We've come over this hump and then a little further down the fence is a pretty deep valley and we've, we've been, we're able to tuck these panels down through that valley. Uh, as you can see from these examples, they do follow the terrain quite well. Next, I'll show you some uh, panels on how they wrap around corners and uh, that's where we'll head next. Example of how to end the panels at a corner. We cap the ends of the panel with inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter angle iron. It makes a nice clean end to your fence. We've started this fence going this way at this corner the same way. We started it with a piece of angle iron. There's no sharp edges and it does a nice job of, it's a nice inexpensive way of capping your ends. Here's an example of an outside radius. We've formed these panels around these posts to make a nice curve on this driveway. Next I'll show you a inside curve and what it looks like. 